guys, name's Fen. <laughs> yeah, last time. This is even still inside, even still. So yeah, now I know what's the deal with the antenna on the chimney. I apologize for zoning and droning and other words that rhyme with it that are ill-appropriate to be saying in the first 30 seconds of a video. But now, I guess I'll just continue my rooftop journey or something, and I don't know, there was... Right, 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 right. But I still don't even have a key for this or for that cute, adorable door. The adore double door, you might even say, if you want to pronounce it strangely. Not pronounce it strangely, but intone it strangely. Uh, stress it strangely. Strange stress. This sounds like it sounds like a book for like paranormal stress ailments and the cures thereof. Uh, buy it today. It's super legit. Now, which I mean, it's not. But in order to sell such a thing, you have to lie. I mean, seriously. Oh. The. Okay, that worked. Guess I'm not gonna complain. The Grunder Inn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also the antennas. Gonna be somewhere around, sort of, vaguely. Oh come on, lady. Here. Moss. Yeah. I think. It was it was like across the street from it, maybe. I don't know. Well, a building with an antenna. But I was just up on the roof, so I guess I was in the right place. Or maybe the Grunder Inn was mentioned in some completely other context. I don't know. I just remember hearing it being mentioned. You can't expect... Why is that? <laughs> you can't expect me to... To, to have any memory at all, ever, in any way, but... Oh. <laughs> okay, you can get out. I'm a little... No, the Grunder... Where was the Grunder in frigging mentioned? It just stops? So when do AIs fit through these small little spaces? Honestly, you're like a frickin' 75 GM catalytic converter. Never mind! That's some non-invented here syndrome. Possibly. Oh, are you stock... Oh, Stockline Sally has a thing behind her. Wow, I had zero clue. However, wait a minute, are you wood? I don't think so. Unless I can... Yeah, there's surprisingly few ways up. Yeah, like, unless I can get back up... Wait, this is completely different. Somewhere around here... Then I'm gonna have to go all the way back around. I don't know, it's it's hard to remember which place of town is where. I mean, you totally think you could climb this, but wait, 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 wait! Ah, that's better. Okay, well, I'm up on this, so maybe I can... Trundle on. Oh, okay. Good trundling. Who was noising about then? Oh, <laughs> that's my own fault. I'm not squidding. Yeah, so... 500 gold is quite a good haul. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing if I find a thousand, maybe it'll be like, hey, a thousand is an even gooder haul. But, uh, that little pat on the head, maybe not the best thing to look out for in life. No, instead of beautiful baby car, <laughs> such as, uh, um, um, you know, an original Mini, or or an original Beetle, or a great big enormous electric Hummer. Just because you're big doesn't mean you can't be cute. At least that's my opinion, and I don't think I was supposed to get up there, if we're being honest. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Yeah, because in Old Dark, you probably have to do a lot more work to get up here. So, whoops. But, okay. A flute. Oh, nightmares about this flute from Taratoba. Slow fall, even. Fantastic. 
I see. So maybe you're supposed to see and to hear from there and, and wonder to yourself, ah! or maybe, you know, wonder in a quieter, more calm way. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. If you want to be calm, I guess that's up to you. Yeah, because I jumped down off the top roof to get into there. But it's weird. I'm going to have to go back there again after I find two different keys. Sure. Well, I guess it's time to try to head back up that way through however the hell I managed it. Still gonna leave you if I can, though. Strange. I saw something there for a moment. Cause I mean, you gotta turn your life around and it ain't gonna help if I just bop you on the head and concussion you, is it now? All right, I think it was up through this disposal room. Just, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's still new places over this way, so let's explore all we can. And again, these are done in advance, so if you've told me where to go, I don't yet know. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not even happening. So yeah, if I could get down there, then that's something. Did you hear that? Oh. Question is, how do I get back up? And also, I'm really interested about the story. I, you know, I want justice to be done and also to find out exactly how I am a drone. I mean, I don't see propellers sticking out of my ass, but regardless. Yeah. It's weird that you'd think you could climb this stuff. At least I would. Well, at least this is something. I mean, it's weird that I went to that whole house that needed, like, two keys and I don't have them, and then I heard about an antenna on a roof that... Whoa. I don't seem to be able to... Hmm. ...find either. But I guess as long as I follow the trail of the thieves, that should be okay. Plague here! Oh, these people are all so ungentlemanly by, like, not being prudes, I guess. I don't know. What, what is our opinion on this these days, anyway? Who cares? I, I used to be like, I don't care what anyone thinks, and then I realized I did. And then I, and then I was just like, boy, I shouldn't be like uh, what I am. And then I became a Let's Player and started... That's a ginormous switch, that's what you do. And started being like super, super like, oh, my life is like so, so interesting and emotional. Let me tell you all about it. Mess with my wife, I'll give you no strife. Mess with my beer, you're risking your life. Alex Grubeck. Sounds familiar again, but... Huoma, oh. I guess that's what you gave me or something. Or a poisoned version thereof. <sighs> These dudes. They hate their wives, and they, where wives hate their husbands makes you wonder what's the point. Oh yeah, that's right, politics. At least in these old times. Uh, oh, this is, wait. Or, I could probably just... Walk straight down there. Boy, I can't wait till I get a thousand loot. The incredible saying that's gonna happen in the objectives, who even knows what it could be? Sploop, blorp, flibble. The, the possibilities are endless. Also, it was that, who was that lady? Surely that wasn't Stockline Sally. Can't even get in through there at all. So strange. No, I'm gonna have to give you a different name. Corner Stander Callie, yeah. Corner stander, Callie. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's ever been anyone named Who's there? Callie, except in mystery fiction. And even then, I'm pretty sure she Oh, you are Stockline Sally. Holy crap. Well, never mind. A guard, though. There was a guard that walked. Wow. This is... I wasn't expecting this to lead. But, like, it all just leads back to Stockline Sally. Bro, I don't care. So, if the thief walked up here, was there a guard here? 
Well, maybe the guard just despawned. Or went into that door and then just kind of never came out. Who knows? But I... Oh, no, the guard walked back out here, of course. But now how do I... Well, I guess, I guess what I'm supposed to do is just go back out through that grate to the first party because I don't think I can... Not quite. Oh, maybe I can? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, this mission is possessed of a non-annoying design. Still could be loot hidden here. Still don't know it because it's too early for, for hints. But I think this could take me up onto another roof where there's like a whole nother section of town. Unless, of course, it's that one that i just been to. I don't know. Hopefully. Right. No, I guess... I guess this is... Yeah, so that lady down there, I guess, was just the lady I encountered. If I encountered one. Lady encounter! <laughs> that, that, that should be a section in Play Gear. Lady encounter, where... It's... Aha! Uh -huh. Where it's just a... Uh, a random battle in an RPG, and, and then there's just a lady. Like, not a sexy lady or anything, just like a random, normal woman just in a battle, fighting you, murdering you with spells. You know how it goes. Bonus! A thousand gold under these circumstances? Now you know you're the best! <laughs> yeah. Wonder if I can get 1,500. <clears throat> I don't know. They're probably not... Yeah, so, so this... This is going to be the Grunder Inn, which... Is it that until... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, so what did he say? Put the bottom light in your bow sight in the middle, did he say, or...? Like, it's good that they tell you, but... See, I've forgotten it... ...now, and... I mean, am I going to get some big old notification if it hits? Because you can't zoom when your bow is selected, so I don't actually have time. But wait, if I've got arrows that fly straight, can I just... I mean, sure, this is an expensive waste, but... Seriously? Well, I'm probably supposed to be standing some... Dude, seriously? I'm probably supposed to be standing somewhere else in order to stand where that guy was supposedly standing, 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 standing anyway. I mean, the guy was standing more like here, right? But anyway... Did that? I mean, I don't think we even know what that button does, do we? Right, so it's cool that they tell you this info in a conversation makes it feel more alive and less gamey, but the problem is it doesn't get written down anywhere, so you have to go back and listen to the convo, and good luck if you don't record yourself. But the north rim is what you stand on, so this, right? And then you line up the bottom light with the bottom of your bow sight. But, like, I'm not really hearing anything. And like I say, I don't really have time to... Like, did that... I'm guessing I'm going to know if it hit it, because... If it's not going to make a big fuss about it, then how the hell am I going to know if I hit versus missed? I can't see... You know? I want to spend the whole episode just doing this. Like, did that hit or not? That's as fast as you can zoom in. Like, I was holding the zoom in key, and it took two seconds for me to be able to start. So, yeah. I mean, it said I came real close to hitting it when I... He. He came real close to hitting it when he put the bottom light near the bottom of his bow sight. Like, what do you... But it didn't say he actually hit it. It said he came close, so that's... I mean, I get if this is a massive Easter egg, but when you... I would expect then 
to not be told about it because if you get told about it, it seems like it's mega important. This is just stupid. Yeah, I just hope this isn't required because this is seriously stupid. Like, it's fine for an Easter egg, I guess, except that you're given information that doesn't seem to... Look, I'm standing on the North Rim. What do you want? And I'm putting this thing near the bottom of my bow, and it's just like, what do you want me to draw it? Halfway or what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? I just got it while I was ranting and not paying... Ain't that always the way? You're not paying attention and you suddenly... I don't even know how I did that. What? Did... <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what did that actually do in the grand scheme of things, though? Come on, this stupid window. My God! How bloody hard can this be? Are you serious? How do you get into this stupid thing? Oh. Why would you do this? Like a requ... <sighs> well, yeah. Does that do anything? Oh. I wonder if the keepers have seen this. Right. <laughs> this is obviously linked with the boss and their plan. Destroy it. Oops. Discharge rod lock. Oh, that's going to be this other. Yeah. If this is required, that is seriously terrible. If not, then I guess fair enough. Yeah, my judgment rests on that. Thank you. So I guess I just have to put a plate through a... Yeah. Just have to stick this in and destroy it. Not 100% sure why, but you don't really ask questions in a game. Unless it's a game wherein you're supposed to ask questions, in which case you don't know because you're so used to video games having no consequences. <laughs> that should do it. Yeah, so, I'm guessing this is optional. There's no way this would be required. It's just too ridiculous. However, now I have to get back up again. Like, unless... Oh, man. Okay, see you when I've gone all around. And I do mean all around. Okay, so... I do have the boss's spare bedroom key, so maybe I will go back to that first building if I don't find anything over this ways. And just, uh... <laughs> Sally, she's just ever-present. And just see if it unlocks that door, cuz... I'm not... sure... Is that a real window? Wait a minute. Wait a dang minute. No, 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 I've been, uh, that's my greeting. Hope this works. I <laughs> hope getting up onto the grate at all works. Oh, which way am I even going? Now, hang on a second, now, hang on a second. Wasn't there still, the oh, maybe that is the spare bedroom up there. Okay, well, whatever. Come on, where's the upward, upward? Oh my god, dude, seriously? For god's sake. These tunnels. <laughs> god damn them. Yeah, because if this isn't the key to this door, then I don't... Excuse me. Then I don't even know what's going on. Let's give it a shot. <gasps> Is this the room with the chests? Also, are you the boss? Are you the boss? Six. Six isn't enough. Yeah. Well, like I said, the boss sounded like it was Lady Queen Bee there, so... Your drone has come to attack, because humans are not bees. They're smarter, and they can attack. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that was it. But really, though, you're not... 
That's a spare bedroom. I mean... Really, though? You're not the boss? I was... Oh. Hell. Exit key? What? Now, now, hang on just a second. Isn't this a big, long, complicated plot that unfurls? What's going on? Tests and results. Officer Treadle implanted the thought that he was witnessed stealing from the evidence locker. He has left the last payment demanded by his imaginary extortioner at the bottom basement stairs of the gray brick building on his beat every night for the last 26 nights. Someone who's never stolen from the evidence locker is now stealing every chance he gets to pay off an imaginary extortioner. A lucrative success. Mr. Greeter, known for his decorum and propriety, suggested he call everyone at work by their nicknames and pat his secretary Mary on the behind. A drone has already reported back to me that Mary has suddenly left her position. This post-mesmeric suggestion has obviously succeeded. Jacko, press the button on top of the roof of the transmitter building. Climbed without fear, although it was clearly dangerous, and the fact that he has always had a fear of heights. He confided that he tried hitting the button with an arrow from the north rim of his chimney, and even standing on that height, protected from a fall by a wide roof, still made him so nervous he could barely shoot a few arrows before having a panic attack. This post-mesmeric suggestion has remained strong, and he is still confident with heights. Mr. Borano, known by one of my drones to be a frequent visitor of the brothels and street whores, invited him for dinner and gave him some treated ale. My mesmeric suggestions were particularly trouble-free since he was so convinced I was flirting with him. He now has such an aversion to the thought of relations with whores, a few of my drones have seen him lecturing the whores rather than hiring them. This evening's tests were both amusing and revealing. The test involves three subjects. Number one was convinced he was a wolf howling at the moon. Number two was convinced he was a rooster. Both carried on their behavior in public and a drone reported they were arrested. Number three was the true final test before I begin my work on Garrett. Ah, number three. Number three was actually so completely mesmerized that he ignored his own sense of self-preservation and breathed underwater in the tunnel. A drone standing at the other end of the tunnel watched him voluntarily breathe in a rather relaxed fashion and pass out. He immediately left to report to me. This successful test bodes well for my work with Garrett. This has been a long and arduous process. Once my sister freed me from my husband's cruelty and arranged my release from the asylum, my husband immediately arranged for his barrister to provide me with a divorce of bed and board. It took me quite some time to regain my health and composure. Once at a social function, I actually heard muted laughter behind my back after someone whispered, I can see why he preferred the company of Burricks. How little they understood the man. But I will have my vengeance unleashed upon him and all of his friends and colleagues. I will rule Dayport and no one will ever be aware of it. The Huoma is not detectable in minute quantities when placed by my drone in the batches of Grubeck Ale. Since he is one of the brewmasters, it is done quite discreetly. The effects do not cause the same effects as though it were taken in larger quantities, but it does make anyone drinking it who lives within a kilometer radius of the transmitter much more susceptible to mesmeric suggestions, and the effects seem to last much longer. With enough funds, more and more types of libations can be spiked with the recipe, and more and more transmitters can be built. The drone's confidence is greatly increased by the mesmerizing effects of the sessions with me, combined with the effects of the ale and the transmitter. Unfortunately, greater confidence only increases their abilities slightly. However, with Garrett as one of my drones, he will train them in his unmatched skills. The man who robbed my husband's home and removed the purse from his belt will teach all of my thief drones the same skills. I look forward to the day when Garrett and all my thief drones, once highly trained by Garrett, stealthily enter my husband's home, and he awakes to find himself in the asylum undergoing electroshock for the rest of his life. Starting tomorrow, after my sessions with Garrett, he will begin to spike the asylum administrator's favorite beverage with the Huoma. I purposely chose to place the transmitter within a kilometer of the administrator's apartment. Everything is coming together. Okay. Letter to Lady Ramirez. What was that? A letter to Lady R Wait, Ramirez? It's Ramirez? Uh, oh, but what was the letter, though? Was that the sister's letter? Wait, no, I... Where did I get that letter? Leave her a note in her paper tray to let her know who's really the boss. Oh, I can't even read it. Uh, time to... Wait, I did... Oh. 
time to make your exit out of the lobby doors downstairs. Lady Ramirez, as you're aware, I've been on the receiving end of your husband's wrath, so I can sympathize with your situation. His reaction to being told no by me was to have me assassinated. His reaction to being told no by you was obviously more unspeakably cruel in many ways. Your husband wanted you for his slave, just as you want me for your slave, and this is where my sympathy ends. I've destroyed your transmitter, and I will report your plans to some special friends of mine. It's over. If I wanted vengeance, you would be dead. There are times where you are treated unjustly, and nothing will change that or make it go away. It is time to move on with your life. I will never be one of your drones. Like I told your husband, I work alone. You'd be well advised to never forget that, but hey, it's only a suggestion. And you're obviously familiar with the power of suggestion. And here's where you bust in with the credits music. <laughs> Don't kill anyone. Oh, fine. It's probably a goal on all difficulties because otherwise you could kill her and have your vengeance. <laughs> okay, but exit. Out of the lobby doors downstairs. Lobby doors downstairs? What? Is there such a thing as that? Wait, what? Oh. I was unaware of this door. <laughs> okay. So, I guess I was expecting a much longer mission, but like, yeah, that's a good wrap-up if you're going to make it shorter. Yeah, that is a really good story. But, but if you didn't destroy the transmitter, I guess the letter says that you didn't or something. That's interesting. I almost kind of want to go back and just see if that message changes. Three secrets left. Uh, I don't know. I'm just curious. Oh, if you come in here before destroying the tower, she's not even here? And her book isn't here either, so you do have to destroy it. Wait. Uh, but what? Seriously? It's required? Well, that's kind of disappointing. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm misremembering something. Anyways, uh, see you guys next time. Bye for now.